What's up WordPress nerds? In this video, I'm gonna be going over some simple post filtering in WordPress. This is by far the easiest way that I found to do it, so I wanted to share it with you guys. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress tutorials. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so let's take a look at what we're gonna be building here. So let's imagine that we have a bunch of floor plans and a bunch of types of floor plans that we wanna filter by. So we have condo, single family, and townhome. And if we click on single or townhome and condo and hit apply, it's just gonna show those two types of homes. And then if we wanted to sort them alphabetically, we can do that and hit apply. And then I'll swap the order there and then we're good to go. So let's jump into the code right now. All right, so we have a really simple theme here. It's got a style.css, which has just some simple styles just to make things easier on our eyes. We have a functions.php, which essentially it's just including uh, our style sheet and then an empty JavaScript file. It's also allowing us to use post thumbnails. Uh, so we have something to look at there. Um, our empty JavaScript file, which I just mentioned, and then our index.php, which is just outputting our floor plans. So nothing fancy going on here. So this is where we're gonna be doing most of our work, and then we're gonna be doing a little bit inside of JavaScript as well. Um, so let's take a look at what we got. So the first thing that we need to do, ultimately this is going to be relying on a simple HTML form. WordPress does some kind of magic in the back end that we can kind of rely on. So what we're going to start out with is just a form. And this is where we're going to have our, our drop down, our check boxes and our submit button. And so what we want to do first is we want to have a, a select that is very specifically this, we need a select that has uh, the name of order by, we need to have it have two options with the values of date and title. And if you're familiar with a WP query, some of these keys or some of these names and values probably are starting to seem pretty familiar. Um, the next thing that we need to do is we need to open up some PHP tags and we need to create those uh, check boxes. We're getting the terms of home type, which is what single family condo and townhome are. And then we are gonna be outputting uh, check boxes for each one of those. So we're doing for each terms as term, and we're outputting a label with an input type of check box. We are saying that this is name of, that has a name of home type square brackets. It needs to be very specifically that, and it matches the taxonomy that we're pulling in. And the value is the slug. And that also needs to be very specifically the slug. And then we're echoing out the term name so the user is not looking at slugs or IDs or anything. Ending the label, ending the for each, and we're good there. The last thing that we need to do is actually enter in a button. And so what this ultimately is going to do is we have a form with a method of get because that's by default. So it would be like, method equals get. And when you click submit, it's going to be refreshing the page and it's going to build out a URL for us automatically with names and values that will give WordPress and kind of WP query a list of parameters on how to output the content. So if we were to just save this as is, and go back to our page here. Let's delete the URL and refresh. Just give flywheel here a second to do its thing. And if we wanted a townhome and we were to click apply, we get a townhome. And if you notice here at the top, and this might be hard to see, but we have order by equals date and home type equals townhome. And so that just happens for us automatically just because of how forms work. And then WordPress is picking that up, adding that to um, the query and outputting the, the parameters. So if we were to delete this again, and we're going to say, you know what, we want count, town, uh, condos and single families, and we want uh, the order to be alphabetical. 
It's going to be the right home types, but it's not going to be alphabetical. And so we're going to be working through that a little bit. So, and you'll also notice on top of that, that even though we selected those items of single family and condo, the check boxes aren't staying checked. So while technically everything is mostly sorting correctly, then we just need to kind of do some of the user interface stuff and fix this newest to oldest and alphabetical uh, drop down. So let's start by making these checkboxes check if they are selected. And so what we have is there is a special WordPress function called selected. And all that does is it takes um, kind of a statement and whether or not, and if it comes out as true, it'll output the selected keyword. And if it doesn't, then it will just be as is. So let's just drop these down a little bit while I make a mess of things. And so we have a value of date and we're wanting to say, hey, if this has a, if in the git, it has an order by and it is set to date, then we want this particular option to be selected. And we're gonna do the same thing here for title. So I don't know why my editor is adding all this fun stuff here on the back. I think it's the autocomplete. So we're saying, hey, if the um, order by is equal to title, then make this selected. So let's try that out real quick. So we're saying if it is alphabetical and hit apply, now all of a sudden it's staying alphabetical. If we're doing new to, newest to oldest and we hit apply, it stays as newest to oldest. So that's one down. So next we need to be able to check these boxes and have them stay checked when the browser is refreshed. So let's go back to our code and then let's go down to where it's outputting the check boxes. And we need to do essentially the same thing here. In the other side, when we were doing um, the options, we were using a function called selected. And down here with the check boxes, we're using a function called checked. And it's kind of the same thing. It just needs a true or false and you can kind of set up whatever type of condition you want for that. But in this case, we're just making sure that if uh, the home type is in the URL and the current slug, the current um, home type that this checkbox represents is present in the array that's in the URL, then we can say that this is true and it should be checked. And that's the reason why the square brackets um, pair is very important is because that's telling the browser when we hit submit that these check boxes belong to each other, they're in an, in an array. And so once we have that, we can go back to our URL or our browser here, just hit refresh real quick. And then we're gonna say single family and townhome and apply. And we have single family and town home right here and the check boxes are checked. So we're in a good spot right there. However, there's a couple more things that we need to do. Um, we need to actually keep track of the order of the floor plans, meaning we have newest to oldest and alphabetical, but it's not technically like alphabetical. We're having to, um, the job should be at least first and then it's in descending order right now it needs to be in ascending order it needs to go from a to z not z to a and then when we are doing newest to oldest we don't want it to be from oldest to newest we want it to be newest to oldest so we have to swap ascending and descending orders depending on which one is is selected and so there's a nice little way that you can do this. It's, it kind of is a little bit tricky, but once you kind of understand what's going on, then it's, it's no biggie. But since we're still kind of using the form and we're in form land, uh, all we have to do is add an additional form field. Uh, that's a hidden one. So we're going to give it the ID of order and the select is order by just to keep that in mind. And it's a input type of hidden. It is the name of order, which is another kind of WP query parameter. 
And then we're saying, um, we're keeping track of what the uh, order t uh, value is. So in the URL, if it's order, uh, if order exists and the order is ascending, then we want this value to be ascending, otherwise descending. And so we want it to default to ascending um, and then descending if it's, uh, if it's uh, newest to oldest. So let's take a look at what the JavaScript might look like for this so we can kind of sw swap back and forth as we change the select from newest to oldest to alphabetical. So let's go to our JavaScript real quick. And we are having a two selectors here, uh, archive order by and archive order. And we're selecting order by and order. And if those are present on the page, then we want to do things. And so we want to create a, a little function here called set order. And we want this to just, all we want it to do is check to see what is the value of that select box and then change the value of our, our hidden input. So to check the value of the input, we have to say get archive order by, look at it look at its options, get the selected index of that and the value of that selected index. So it's just all it's doing is it's checking to see which one's selected and getting that value. It feels like a really roundabout way to do it, but that's the way you do it. Um, and then on top of that, so once we get that order by, if I could type here, we're saying if it's equal to title, set the archive order, that in, hidden input to ascending, and if it's not um, title, it should be descending. So if it's if we're sorting by title, it needs to be ascending. If it's uh, by date, it needs to be descending. So once we have that, um, all we need to do is say, hey, if uh, the select box is changed, then rerun this function. So we can check to see which one's which. And essentially on page load, we need this to set the order by default. So once we got those two in place, we can come back here. Let's delete all that fun stuff out of the URL and let's check to see if this works. So we're saying townhomes and condos. We're still good there. Everything is displaying correctly. Let's get all three of them on there. And then if we do alphabetical, we need to hit apply. Now the job is first. And if we do by newest to oldest, the Lucille is first, which is the last one that I, I put in there. So we got that all working. We now have a working sort form. And um, now our URL is kind of ugly and nasty. This feels kind of archaic to some people, but if you need to get a simple post filtering thing up and running, this is by far the easiest way that I know of. But if you know an easier way, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to learn about it and talk about how that might be helpful to people. Um, if you liked the video and you learned something, please leave the video a like and a comment saying that you did. Um, but anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one.